All right, so uh, chapter five problem, it might be a steady flow device or it might be unsteady like the next one, okay? So for the steady flow devices, uh, this is a turbine. It's a steam turbine, all right? It operates at this inlet conditions, operates at that outlet. It's a turbine. We're getting work out of a turbine. Uh, normally, we neglect the Q. Uh, but if it says there's some heat loss, uh, then we um, will take that into account. Um, also, it didn't tell us any velocity, so we don't have kinetic energies. It didn't tell us any heights. We don't have potential energies. It's just the H. So for steady flow devices, and, and actually, we could, for steady flow devices, it was, you know, Q plus W, um, equals if there's one inlet and one outlet it's the same mass flow rate uh, in and out this would be you know h out minus h1 so that's kind of our steady flow equation uh, when uh, there's no kinetic energy or potential energy um, now let's let's look at this let's think about this because for chapter five um, you know I'm thinking that I I shouldn't even teach only steady flow. Let's take the big conservation of energy M in H in M out H out. This is kind of our unsteady flow. Uh, M to, you know, let's say U or, or should we say H minus M1 H1. All right, this is really, this is where a lot of people get confused. This is really out and in over here. This was this part. What did we do? We said for a steady flow, steady flow, there's no initial and no final. The, the delta E is zero. So this side of our equation is zero. We moved this to that side of our equation. Uh, so you can start with this if you know it's steady flow, or you can always start with the unsteady flow and if there's no, um, if there is no change in energy, then the right hand side of this equation is zero, and we have inlets and outlets. Do, do you see that what chapter four is? I'm going on some tangents here. Chapter four are closed systems, and there are no inlets and outlets, and this is is our delta E. Now it might be um, it might be U's or H's, might be kinetic energy, might be potential energy. Okay. Anyway, this is a steady flow device. Here's our equation. Q plus W equals M dot H out H in. So I won't go through the property tables, but this is steam, right? The H2O. Uh, at this pressure and that temperature, uh, you should be able to tell its H. should be able to calculate its H. I've got 3146.0 kilojoules per kilogram. If it is a saturated vapor at that temperature, go to the you know table A5. H is 2555.6 kilojoules per kilogram. All right. So, Q, do I have any Q? Yes, I do have Q. That's what I'm trying to find. I've got Q out. So either you go ahead and know that it's, go ahead and give it a negative, and you know that it's out, or you just say, okay, what is my Q? I'll calculate it. Uh, I've got work out of 12,350 kilowatts. All right, so this is really Q dot W dot M dot equals mass flow rate 22 kilograms per second h out 2555.6 minus 3146.0 uh, would give me a q of negative 640 kilowatts yeah makes sense that it was negative it is going out 640 kilowatts okay so this was a steady flow device it was steam, but we could have steady flow devices with uh, ideal gases or air or refrigerant. This might show up, you know, if 
I decide to give you a chapter 5 problem that's unsteady flow, then maybe I give you a chapter 7 problem that is a steady flow, uh, but we have to do it actual and isentropic to find the isentropic efficiency. So hold on to this um, because you know, it might show up in a chapter 7 problem as well. Okay, all right, so look at all those steady flow devices. Uh, this is a turbine, and you know, for turbines, usually we neglect the Q, but if it, if it tells you we've got it, then we've got it. Um, but a lot, a lot of times we neglect the kinetic energy and the potential energy uh, unless it tell, tells us the velocity in or out, and definitely nozzles and diffusers, um, that's the whole, their whole goal is kinetic energy raising or lowering the velocity, speeding it up or slowing it down. So look at all the steady flow devices, uh, but also be ready for an unsteady chapter 5 problem. Look at this, this problem, see if that makes sense to you. Oh, and, sorry, and for this problem where I, I give you the, um, I already gave you the solution, there's a typo, I wanted this to be point, the volume of point zero one five meters cubed.